Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. It's week 10 of the NFL on EA Sports. see Ben Roethlisberger and the Tennessee Titans taking on Daniel Jones and the Indianapolis Colts. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. They come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Break harder on the return. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. They'll be led out by a man back from an elbow injury that sidelined him for the majority of 2019. At 38 years of age, it's Ben Roethlisberger. And I'll bet right now it's just one thought in his mind. Win the game. Oh, uh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, two right? touchdown passes two last touchdown week. Two touchdown passes, but when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. No gain on the Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. The ball carrier. The tackle made by Jack Crawford. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Roethlisberger's pass. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So now the Colts will get their first opportunity with a football. Leading them out, the man known as Danny Dimes, their second-year quarterback from Duke, Daniel Jones. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stay on an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had. And oh, right away, he lost the football. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. Throwing Jones. Oh, look at the juke. Jones Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, Number pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Fair catch signal for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll lose yardage here back to the 15. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. At the 15-yard line. 
Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll be out right at the 35. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Going up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 35-yard line. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. An incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. On the crossing route, complete. It's Hogan. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. It's caught, Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Now a first down carry by Jones. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On second and 11 now. Roethlisberger completes it to the tight end, Kittle. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now Roethlisberger. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. He's two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He's on the pickup. It's second and eight. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Now it's Roethlisberger. In a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. By the Colts. Uh, no doubt a very disappointing end to what was a pretty strong opening drive. They had three points in their back pocket. It was there for them. If you don't like what you see, just throw it away. Make sure you get those points on the board. Don't get too greedy. He forced it there. You saw the end result. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little I bit don't. jumpy. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> The numbers last week for Shady McCoy. 13 carries, 58 yards, and a score. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. And they're going jet sweep. Here's Tate. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. The cornerback, it's Logan Ryan who brings him down. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. On second down now. It's McCoy. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So after the run by McCoy, here's another first and 10. Operating from the gun. Jones. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Brings up in so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And it brings up third. Now Jones. 
Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. Intended for they really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. Indianapolis. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. And this Tennessee defense for the second straight play gets them behind the line. They're not messing around. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. to throw on third down. Jones, and that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, gonna be a good chance that any attempt is gonna be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. At their own 24-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. And it's second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. On the coverage. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with McCoy. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Brought down at the 39-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. From the 39, Jones, and he fires one incomplete. The Colts on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. Eight yards. Throw left side complete. That's McCoy. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. On the return, Carter. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs 
So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Tennessee Titans. His first catch. Good for nine and a first down. First and ten. And they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. That slant to Jones. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 28. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Edo Smith, his first carry. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now that's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Three-yard line. To throw here, Roethlisberger. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points, in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Yeah, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he completes this into the hands of Miller. Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Gain on the play. And it's third down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Bobby Anderson. A gain of 14. First down, Colts. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. John Simon in on the stop. The run only got a yard, here's second and nine. Second and nine at the 46-yard line. From the gun, Jones. 
And that'll be incomplete. Uh, took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Third down. Now Jones to throw on third down. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. DJ Reader has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. He's got a first down and more past the 30. And he's going to get this all the way up to the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Okay, take us to school here, Charles. On a play like that, pretty successful RPO. What's the quarterback looking at? Basics, he's looking at the defensive end or the outside linebacker. If that player crashes down to take the running back, quarterback pulls it, runs to the outside end. Some teams, though, will read different players depending on defenses, but basically it's that outside player. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Roethlisberger. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. They come up to the line now, facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Here's Jones. Throwing again. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McCoy. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down at seven. Operating from the gun, Jones. And quickly finding Rager. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. From the gun, Jones. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. Adrian Claiborne able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Drops this one off to McCoy underneath. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Jones now throwing on third and long. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. And yeah, this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Now a first and 10 at the 11. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
That's the end of the first So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair. Just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll get back with you shortly. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up this weekend around the NFL. Some good-looking matchups on your screen there. One of the best? Yeah, I'll say it. It's in Cleveland. A big test there for the Browns as they'll square off against the visiting Houston Texans. Good stuff going on later in the afternoon as well, especially down in Miami, where it will be the Dolphins taking on the New York Jets. And finally, Sunday night football. They've got a good one lined up between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected, all tied through one half of play. For the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Colts take over first and 10. At their own the Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And this will go for five up to the 33. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times, the ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. for the point after. And it is up. It is good. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. A 40-yard punt, no return, and possession will switch hands first and 10 at their own 27 yard line they'll start out on the ground with Jones and he powers his way up past the 30 number 33 calling a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down down at the 31 four yards on the pick from the 31 the Roethlisberger and right side caught Hogan and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds Roethlisberger now to throw on third down oh incomplete nearly the pick they needed they would have loved one there but at least it does get him to fourth down 
How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. The 37-yard line. Here's second and five now from the 37. Operating from the gun, Jones. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. To Rob Gronkowski. It's a gain of six. First down, Colts. Jones on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. to throw again. Jones. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards there. First down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Here's McCoy. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. From the gun, Jones. And he's got it complete to Anderson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 23. A gain of 18 on the play. And the Colts first down. Now Jones. Throwing on first down. That'll be taken in by Anderson. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. And that's going to be caught. Oh, a one-handed grab there. He's got it for the touchdown. Touchdown. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. That time, a nine-play drive. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings on second, second down. Seven. It's Jones. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll run on first down. Jones. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. At the 44-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. 
Again, it's Jones. They find some open field here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Good for a Tennessee Titan. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Right there, 54, right there. Now Ito Smith. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings on second down now. It's Jones. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 34. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll go again to Jones. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. On first down, McCoy. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. McCoy, the ball carrier. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. They'll go again to McCoy. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Another carry tonight for McCoy. He's been the workhorse. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. First down, Colts. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Caught right side, Tate. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Complete to Golden Tate. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Operating from the gun, Jones. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. Jones. That catch, good for only a couple. McCoy. A gain of two. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, Jones into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 33. 11 yards there, first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Operating from the gun. Jones and the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete it'll be second down second and ten from the 33 yard line throwing again Jones it's brought in left side by Tate Jones pass they get six that'll leave them with third and four it's a gain of six one thing I think that's safe to say defensively the tackling's been really good and because of that it's been very very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch they're tackling them almost on the spot that means you have to run extra play and he's gonna go down they get to him back at the 40. a loss of 14 on the play Gotta give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. 
And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And as we peer at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start, but since then really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence. If you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases. You know, find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. The ball carrier. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jones. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Aaron Jones, the ball carrier. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run. Not the one that's going to break for big yardage. But he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. On first down, Jones takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Second and nine. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 35. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll run on first down. Jones, nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, <laughs> right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. It's third and 11. On third down, Roethlisberger. He finds Smith out of the backfield. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Titans 16. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Second and six. And a big loss here as he's taken down. John Simon, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Jones now throwing on third and long. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Wesley Woodyard, he does a little bit of everything, and this time he gets the sack. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 47 yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. A run with Jones on first down, not going to yield much. A yard top, second down coming up. The clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jones. 
And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it. They did it well in that last sequence. But the focus shifts back to Daniel Jones and company. He's been pretty good when he's had time. The issue is, as we see here, a lot of times he hasn't had the time. And a lot of that in getting past it is attitude. How's he projecting? Is he showing that the teams, the other team is getting to him? Is he showing his guys up front that he's upset, that he's angry? Or is he still encouraging? Because those guys, they've got to find a way to pick it up. And it always happens a little bit better if they fuck the quarterbacks on their side. So far, five sacks against him. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. First down, Colts. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Jones, three yards the gain there, second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones finding a safety valve here. That's complete. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Back to throw. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. From the gun, Jones. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. Jones pass. Now the Colts gonna burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Found his target, it's Anderson. Jones pass. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 24 yard line. This ball complete to Rager. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So for Tennessee, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the year. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, their season is on life support somewhat now at 3-6. and six. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.